This is the first song of our new album. This song's called Seven. Thank you. The crowd loves it, and so do I. That was Catfish and the Bottleman, I reckon, but my new favourite band. <laughs> there you go. No what great. a turnaround. Incredible. Well, let's check back in with Triple J's Jen Frigger down at Lawn, who I think has some guests with her. Jen, how are you? Thanks, Ella. Well, you just saw them smash it on stage at Falls Festival in Lawn. Catfish and the Bottleman, thank you so much for having a chat with us. Thousands of people singing every single word of your songs on the other side of the world from where you're from. What does that feel like? Um, it's quite strange because this is actually our second trip to Australia. So to get a welcome like that 
it's pretty overwhelming. Uh, so oh yeah, I loved it. You guys have an Australian connection in your name, right? Yeah, the, it was a busker on Paddy's Market called Catfish the Bottle Man. And when I came over here when I was younger, my mum and dad got married over here. They ran off together, got married over here. And um, so I was with them when I was younger and saw this busker play. And that's where we kind of, my first memory of seeing like someone play live music on the street and stuff like that. So that's where the name came from, yeah. How heavily do bottles and buskers feature in your music? Not too, we've, we've actually had a jam with him. Bob, Bob actually, yeah. Uh, I, I seem to just destroy his setup. Not on purpose, but I don't know, just my luck, I guess. Gave it one strike and it all fell down, so I walked away. <laughs> well, you guys are pretty good without bottles, I've got to say. Um, I mean, it's New Year's Eve. Uh, let's do everyone's New Year's resolutions. Let's start with you. I'm going to make a xylophone out of bottles tonight. Just in magnum of champagne and then set up my own little uh, xylophone. Yeah, just include more bottles and more catfish in the music. Actual catfish. Don't know how we'll incorporate that, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> what am I doing for tonight? Uh, your New Year's resolution. Oh, resolution? Oh, I've not even thought. I got mine just before midnight, you know, like two minutes before everyone's doing theirs. I hear someone's, I'll go have that one. I always find it's, uh, it's better just not to, like, to even bother lying to yourself with them sort of things, you know. Be gone by the 5th of January, you may as well just, like, keep faith in yourself and not bother setting any. Well, there's a message for the kids at home. Don't try. It's an optimistic <laughs> outlook for 2017 for me there. <laughs> uh, come Australia more. Boom. <laughs> well, we'd love you to tour Australia more. Uh, I'm going to let you get back to celebrating. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you for having me. That's it from us at Falls.